Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Keegan. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit that subscribe button and put those opinions down in the comment section. Headley. Cageless. I got this CD at my local record store. So, if I ever pull up a CD like this, or just like a CD in general, for whatever album I'm reviewing, that's how you know it's a good album. So, yeah, I picked this up. There was another version like this too. It was like a box that was probably about this big. I think it came with the CD and like a pair of socks. But I mean, I don't know why you would want that, honestly. But regardless, Headley is a Canadian rock group formed back in 2003 and released their debut back in 2005. When they released their debut, there was this clear um, punk rock sound coming from their uh, instrumentals. This continued all the way through their 2007 album and their 2009 album. However, to many fans of this taste, they sort of went into a new direction, um, sort of a pop direction to try to... This sort of went into a little bit more radio-friendly with the 2011 album. And, that, and then that sound progressed from their 2013 album to the 2015 album. Now, with their seventh album right here, Cageless, um... Um, I didn't expect Headley to get any more radio-friendly or more pop-stylized uh, back in their 2015 album, Hello. But instead of going for a pop sound with this record, they sort of go into a, a, an electro-pop genre with this one. And in my own opinion, this one's my own opinion here, I think Jacob's vocals sound much better over a pop instrumental than their old rock instrumental. The lead single for this album, uh, Love Again, definitely and very clearly demonstrates this electro-pop genre that the album has. It's a bit slower than traditional Headley pop singles like Hello and Lost in Translation or like Anything or anything like that. Um, it's calm, quiet, and very catchy. My thoughts are a little bit mixed on the other two singles, Better Days and Obsession. Um, Better Days in particular may be my least favorite song. There's just something about um, the chorus, all the both of the choruses going into the verses, um, how the piano all of a sudden evolves into the, in, evolves into the thumping bass line that the verse has just feels a little bit awkward. However, the other songs on here are complete gems. Um, for example, the song Tidal Wave has this EDM vibe to it, um, and, and with the way the instrumental is just really, like, um, like, it's easy to dance to it, and overall it's a pretty tame electronic beat. I'm on Fire, um, immediately comes rushing in with, uh, Jake's vocals, and the beat, since it's going so fast, it kind of reminded me of the sound of a car commercial in a way. Seventeen on the album is the closer, and it's this calm acoustic cut about remembering the times when you're seventeen. And oh my goodness, the song "All Night" is probably my favorite song. This is such, it's, it's my favorite song just because of how much of a bop it is. This is the exact instrumental that I think Jacob sounds the best on. Also along with the sl very slow, almost ballad-like instrumental of Bad Tattoo, um, with Jacob's very, um, Jacob's very unique and distinguishable vocals exploding on the chorus with this emotion and passion we don't see very much from him. Overall, as I previously said before, this is definitely Headley's poppiest record. So I, I can totally see the old school fans of Headley um, not liking it, considering they started back as a rock, uh, punk rock band. But if people enjoy the pop genre, and they enjoy the new heavy style, I would definitely say pick this up. Um, for me, it's uh, definitely one of my favorite albums of theirs. Well guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review. Peace.